Do, 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 do. Hey, what is up, GOAT world? It is me, your boy, JDZ, and I'm back at you again with another GOAT format dueling stream. We're back here on a Friday, up and at him. Early Friday day goats, not Friday night goats, Friday day goats. That's because the circus is in town. If you are not familiar, the Nitro Circus is a special event that we do every once in a while on Fridays. We come out and we deliver a special tournament. Today, there will be special parameters in this tournament, just like always. Today, we have a modified ban list. Okay, the new ban list that we have for today, for this event only today, not the 7 p.m., just this event for the Nitro Circus goes as follows. Okay, the following cards. The following cards will be banned. In addition to the normal GOAT format ban list, the following cards will be banned. Black Luster Soldier, Umpway at the Beginning, Cyber Jar, Delinquent Duo, Giant Trinade, Ring of Destruction, and Trap Test Shoot, all removed from the game. The following cards will be limited to one copy per deck. That is Chaos Sorcerer, Gravekeeper Spy, and Cyberstein. Okay, we do this just to kind of shake it up a little bit, just to force the spice. It's going to be hard to show up with a very standard deck under these parameters. And Splevin, huge shout out to Splevin, the newest community leader, the newest ruling expert. Splevin has been going through, meticulously combing through these decks to ensure that there are no illegal signups. Okay, but still, if you're watching the stream, Oh, you still have time. We have about six minutes until the tournament officially starts. So get out there, fix your decks if you're all jacked up, and let's get it cracking. Okay, so we should be starting soon. We should be starting very, very soon. Let's see if I can get my, my wits about me. Okay, my streaming has been down. I haven't streamed a lot in, in, a, in, a, in a little while. So let's see if I can get this thing up and active, get the, get the chat rolling in. Get the chat rolling in. Okay, the chat's rolling in. My style bot died on me, so we're not gonna have the beautiful, elegant, black background like we typically do. I hit up the homie Bluetooth, but unfortunately he's, able, he's busy. He's not able to help me fix it. So we're gonna have to just go a little old school with it. No big deal. We're, we're living in the free world, okay? Yo, 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 Cub, it's goat time. Yes, it is. It's time to play some goats. It's time to get motivated. It's time to see some spice, okay? It's time to see some cool stuff. And I got, I got a chance to look through a few of these decks as well. It's some really cool stuff out there that these duels are bringing. Win this event. If you win this event, you're going to be qualified to enter into the next Goat Grinder, which takes place sometime this summer, okay? If you win on the Spice, certified, okay? Not, not board regulated, okay? It's got to be certified, a USDA approved Spice. You will get the Discord Nitro courtesy of me, your boy, JDZ. Okay, so let's go ahead and get those seat backs into the upright and locked position because we're about to take this thing off into the, into the, the, the nether reaches of the GOAT universe. All right, how am I sounding? How we looking? Yo, Mayberry, how you doing? I'm doing great. Hey, I can't complain. And, and we have 23 duels in here. We have 23 duels in here. Typically when we go over 16, I wanna go single elimination, but not today. Not today, okay? <laughs> Throw all that. Hey, take that, take that whole idea and we're gonna to toss that right on up out the window, okay? We're going double elimination, balls to the wall, end to end, okay? Wheels of steel. We're going to roll them all the way to the finish line. Everybody's got the spice today. Thrust, I saw you out there, and I saw you in this tournament, and I think you have the spice as well. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool things are going to happen. Stout Astronaut is in the building. OG Betchy is in the building. Shauner is out here. Ivan Rosito is back in the facility as well. Fun fact, okay? Let me tell you guys a little, a little fun fact about Ivan Rosito, okay? Him and I are, are polar opposites when it comes to decks and the way the game should be played in terms of decks you should use and card choices you should make. We couldn't be further on the, what is, there's an echo? There's, there's an echo, am I echoing? Oh no, I'm in the cave. Oh my bad, I'm sorry, I am so sorry. How about now? How about now? How about now? My bad, oh no, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, that was my, that was my head judge voice. I am so sorry. It was it doing that the whole time? Dude, I ruined the stream. Nobody told, thank you for telling me that. <laughs> I am so sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad, uh, my bad. My bad, okay, that was my, that was my, yes, give me your card. That was my head judge voice from the, from the skit. I am so sorry, okay. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. But like I was saying about Ivan, okay, we're different. He's a, he's a very meta guy. I am, you know, a very, you know, rogue guy, you know, completely different. But when I tell you 
that Ivan has won every single one of these limited tournaments we've had. Every single one we've had. He won the Freaky Friday. He won the no every single one. And I'm just kind of going to continue to just degrade him specifically. So when people are coming at me like, oh, why you didn't take this car? Why you didn't cut that car? You should have did this, you should have that. I'm coming after Ivan specifically. This is a targeted ad. Okay, this is a targeted campaign to take down Ivan Rosito. So if he comes out and wins again today, then we might have to figure something else out. I don't know what else to do, folks. I really don't know what to do. So this is what we're going to do. We have it up. We're ready. We have about two minutes. Again, here are the duelists that are going to be playing. We have Ghost Rider is in the facility. Maybe he's on that Pac-Man strategy. I know he's a he's a Pac-Man. We have the Pui is out here ready to get busy. We have Suski out here ready to do his thing. Maybe he's on that Baggio, Fresh IRL, Certified Spice Lord. Under these conditions, under these conditions, if you are a true deck builder, if you are truly able to put those cards together in the editor, you're going to be at a significant advantage. I think there's going to be cool things you can do. If you are a good finger and thumb on the metagame pulse analysis type duelist, there's some things that you're going to be able to do. Because some people are like, hey, man, maybe this lockdown burn is going to be the, the meta. Maybe this earth aggro is going to be the meta. It hasn't been touched. Maybe this go control thing is going to be untouched. Who knows? Maybe soul control is the play. Who knows? When you take away some of these things that really, really limit a lot of these cusp level strategies, a lot of things can open up and can blossom. So I'm excited to see what these duels are going to do. So uh, again, we have about one minute, one minute, one minute. Nate Dog says, I think soul control is the play. Soul control might be good. I think Royal Decree might be even better. Whatever, whatever Royal Decree might be the meta today. So I would keep a sharp lookout because I feel if you can Royal Decree the trap guys and then go control everybody else, you could probably win. You could probably, you could probably, you could probably finesse. If you got the skill, like if you're a good enough duelist, you can put out the Royal Decree, negate all the traps, and then go control everything else and, and figure that whole thing out. The Warriors, Suki owe me their ass, dude. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Figure it out. But okay, we're about to get started. So we're going to see exactly how it's going to shake up. I'm ready. I'm locked in. I'm laser focused. I'm motivated. I'm a little dehydrated. I'm not going to lie to you. I am absolutely parched. But it is what it is. We're gonna we're gonna make up for that with with violent energy. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna disrupt. I have to re. What is what is going on? What is going on? Everyone submitted should check if they are in the bracket. Mister Big Noodles out there. Maybe I'm not the only one who didn't get in the first time. Let's check the bracket. We'll we'll halt, we'll halt the progress a little bit. We'll halt. Let's see. Uh, let's see bracket. Is everyone in? Is everyone in? Are we ready? Let's start. Are we ready to duel? I mean, who's not in? Is anyone not in? All right, let's duel. Let's duel. I'm starting. We are going to start. We're going to start. Boom. And I'm going to... I'm not shuffling the seeds. We're not going to, we're going to, we're going to send it. We're going to send it. Uh, we're going to go nitro circus. Boom. And we're going to, with a seated. Yeah, we're seated, baby. Who is clicking my buttons, dude? Who's doing that? God, duelist, duelist, duelist. Who's clicking my buttons? Who is clicking my buttons? Okay. Who's out here? Maybe, maybe split, split. I did not check everyone. I checked, I checked, uh, I checked, uh, Suski. And Ghost Rider. Those are the last ones I checked. Everyone else getting DQ'd. Everyone else is getting immediately DQ'd because this is crazy. Like, I get it. I get it. Like, duelists, we don't read. I understand. When we, when we, we don't read, we don't, I mean, I get it. It's a trope, but we got to start. I mean, at some point, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the thing again. Let's go ahead and start. Duelists, let's get off the button. Let's get off the button. You guys are going to freaking break this bot, and I'm just going to immediately just start crying. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get it cracking. Let's go ahead and get it cracking. I'm gonna wait though. Let's wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna wait. Oh my! Oh my goodness! Oh my! Yeah! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Get it. Okay, let's let's halt. I'm a halt. Let's halt. Let's halt. Let's halt. Let's halt. We won't start. 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 Jeez Louise, duelist. We gotta get it together. 
Go format players. We, we got to wake up, dude. We we got to wake up. We got to who who is who is missing? Who is missing? Who's missing? Uh SDL. Noodle. Are you guys in? Are you in? At Noodle. Are you in? Are you guys legal? Okay. Are you guys legal? At Grace, Grace, you got you got 30 seconds. I love Grace. If it was anyone else, I'd be like, hell no. Nah. But Grace, I, I I rock with Grace so hard. Grace, you got 30 seconds, dude. You got 30 seconds, dude. You have 30 seconds, dude. <laughs> I didn't see Duo was banned. How can I change decks? Resubmit. You got 25 seconds, dude. You literally have 25 seconds. Let's duel. Why don't we wait to the last minute, folks? I guess it's my fault. Maybe we should have started all this a little bit early, started this whole process at like 930 and then and then do it. And then do it. OK, I, that's my bad. That's my bad. I'm going to take responsibility. Man, let's get over here to the chat, man. Let me go over here with the with the with the with the people who are who are locked in. OK, let me get back over here to the chat to y'all to the real ones over here, because people in there and in, in on the discord, they're the, the YouTube crew crushes okay the discord crew they're lagging behind okay and this is like the youtube team is like the that's the advanced accelerated classes they're doing ap courses they're out here going to college they're volunteering on a weekend they're going they're they're passing their sats they're making it okay the discord crew you know what i'm saying they're they're you know what i'm saying they're a little behind okay they're a little behind okay we're talking one plus one energy in the discord so we need to we need to do each each one teach one let's reach one and get out here and let's crank it up because we're we're lagging okay spy is not legal you gotta read we're still putting spy in angel you might have to get out of here it's at one okay <laughs> it's at one okay okay splev you gotta read too okay splev's the guys all right we ready are we ready let's start All right. All right. Whew. Let's get started. Yeah, Ghost, I'm with you. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's duel. All right, I'm ready. I'm starting it. I'm starting it. I'm starting it. I'm starting it. If you're not in, you better you better lock in. You got to wake up. You got to get in here early, okay? I'm not trying to be here all day on this Friday. We got to get it in. Let's get started. And we're seating. Yeah. Yeah. We're seating. And we're in. We're starting. If you're, if you're illegal right now, you're going to get disqualified, okay? DQ... DQ anybody that's illegal, please. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's duel. Let's duel. Let's duel. All right, so we have uh, we have quite a few matches here in the round one. We have a couple of duels who got those buys. Okay, as I stated before, we have uh, man, so many so many good duels. So many good duels. Let me get a random number generator from one to twelve, and that's what we're gonna do. Random number. Random. Uh, how do you do the random thing? How do you do the random uh, the random generator thing? I forget how to do it. Uh. Oh, that's not the right one. I want to do uh, the one where you roll the you pick the. All right, everyone's getting their everyone's getting their matches going. King points, bulls, rain it, remove RNG. There it is. There it is. There it is. RNG. 
between a number one and 12. All right. We rolled a six. Okay. So we're going to see evil SDL versus stout astronaut. Since we rolled a six, they're the sixth match. I think that's what we're going to do. Let's do it. Let's duel. Let's get in there and let's play. Let's get active and let's have fun as SDL versus the stout astronaut. Huge shout out to the stout astronaut. We're going to, he's going to come up to goat grand prix here in Seattle. Signups are open for goat grand prix in Seattle. Signups are still open for goat grand prix in Atlanta, which is happening next weekend. I believe April the 6th in Atlanta, Georgia. So get over there. We have so many goat grand prix and I'll start talking about those more. I'll probably end up just making a video and just putting out a lot of this information. I don't know how to do that. I'm not a YouTuber. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a YouTuber. That's the wrong one. Wrong game. Okay. No big deal. I don't know how to YouTube like that, but maybe put out a video and just talk about all these different things that are going on. Cause there's so much happening in the goat world at all times. And I need to make, make a, make a, make more strides to put that out. All right, cool, cool. And also I will go ahead and share the stream while we're waiting on this match to load up. Let's copy this, get back into the discord. Boom. All right. And Stream is live. Stream is live. Come and see the show. <laughs> yeah, the show. Exclamation point. Send it. Boom. We out here. We out here. Y'all saw that real time as SDL killer is still hosting up. Where you at? Stout astronaut. Get in there and get your game on. Let's duel. Huh? We've been waiting around. It's all, it's, it's all good. We've been waiting around. Now it's time to finish the drill. <coughs> Excuse me. As Alex demand says you're winning. I don't think, I don't know. It could be anyone. It could be anyone. It can be anyone that can take it. I think this is going to be an interesting one as we're waiting for the duelist to host up, man. I can't believe I had that echo on and ruined my intro of the stream, man. I just cannot seem to get out of my own way sometimes. I can't seem to get out of my own way. I really can't. I'll start them. Everything will be looking good. And then something will go down. I genius you not says which cards are not allowed. It is in the description of this video, but off the top of my head, I believe it is going to be black Luster soldier, delinquent duo ring of destruction, uh, cyber jar, giant trunade and, uh, trap does shoot are all banned. Chaos sorcerer, cyber Stein. And, um, it's one more. It's one more. Chaos Sorcerer, Cyber Sign, and Gravekeeper Spy are all limited to one. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Cyber Jar should have been legal. There I said it. Yeah, Cyber Jar is one of those cards that should have been banned the first time. And if I'm, I'm if I'm a, if I'm a, I'm not going to make that mistake twice. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, I won't be fooled again. Cyber Cyber Jar has to go. That card is too much. That card is too much. As SDL Killer is still hosting up, Stout Astronaut is nowhere to be found. So it looks like we might be having a type of no-show situation that is on board. And we have a lot of spice that is taking place. So I think I will go ahead and reluctantly decide to bow out. We're going to bow out and we're going to go find a new game. That game is going to be none other. Let's go with, uh, let's go with, uh, Let's go with who we want to see. Who we want to see. Let's see Evil for Life and End User. Let's try that. Let's see Evil for Life and End User. End User is a Friday staple. End User. I forget their, their actual name. I know Scrub for Life. Evil for Life. Can I get an Evil? Get an Evil. Scrub. What is this? Mike Scrub. I wish I would just stop changing y'all name. Vitical. Yeah, there, 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 there. Okay, we in. We're in. So Scrub elected to go with the skill drain ver okay this is this is a deck that could be powerful a little zombie burn this let me fix my screen too good grief i'm all i'm all out of my wits dude i need to start streaming more bro i promise if you don't if you just if you don't if you don't use it you will in fact lose it as i as i've noticed um so that is another pretty good call for a tournament like this you get the skill drain you get the wave motion cannon uh and you just hope and just vibe out but decree will literally sink your battleship or has it got a freaking UFO Turtle Command Knight sighting. So we got some fire over here. Literally, Last Will is going to be up as well 
as we're trying to trigger that bad boy to bring out the rescue Gato. Oh my goodness. Are we going, are we going fire, fire beast? What's the thing? Oh my goodness. We already started this thing off in a crazy way. Wait, can you do that? Can you skill drain under this? What's going on here? How are we doing this? What's happening? Is that a cost? Yeah, it is, right? And it activates off the field. What's going on? Help me out, somebody. Who's the judge? Where's the judge at? Can can you pop cat with, with skill drain? I think he can. You can do exile, but you can send this face up card. You control to the graveyard. Does that activate off the field? I think it activates in the graveyard. I don't fucking know how to play this game. Cat is like exile. I know my drain. Okay, okay. Grump, Grump's got the vibes, dude. I just want to make sure that we're getting this right. I want to make sure I'm getting this right, dude, because I'll, I'll be up there. I have to go to the head judge. You know what I'm saying? I'm in this, in this layer over here. I have to call it, call him up here. As we got uh, a lot of dudes, but you won't get a base boost here because that skill drain will negate the little chimera, dude. So we own some dude. If I see a baseball kid, I might just have to cut the damn stream off, dude. That's just too much for my feeble soul to handle this early in this GOAT format Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel and stream. A baseball kid sighting. As Snatch Steel is going to be up. We bring out the Sand Gan as well with the last will. And that is going to give you a bunch of damage. Still not quite game just yet. But that is a ton of damage coming in. As Nightmare Will is going to reduce a little bit of that damage. As you're able to strike in with the rest of these little weenies. Maybe you got Gravity Bond and stuff too. And that just sucks. Seeing Gravity Bond right now, that's just the deadest draw because all these guys are getting in. Maybe the Giant Rat can't, but it's going to be what it is as we got. Did he take the 24? What's going on here? So the 24, the 24 never, never gets in. Okay. 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 So 24, you get wheeled and then we're good. Sick. Freaking sick, man. Sick. How you guys feeling on this Friday though? I'm, I'm having, a, I'm having some good, uh, some good Friday energy as Sangin is out. Sangin gets in. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, cool. And then we'll just shift it on over to the end phase. You'll lose both your little chimeras. No big deal. Those things weren't doing too much. They did their duty. You'll take the five and you'll get another counter on the wave mode. You're hoping for a heavy storm. You're hoping for a heavy storm. End user says drain is going to drain the event. I don't, dude, I think I, I would hope. Again, I looked at a quite a quite a few decks, and I think my theory might be correct. But I think Royal Decree is going to be a factor. Does Tornado is going to be a factor. And if you're not playing those cards in your strategy, you're going to uh you're going to be feeling kind of bad as now we're in a race for the clock situation, as you're hoping for some way to interact with these back row cards and or maybe even find another normal summon to continue the pressure. That would be neat. <coughs> Excuse me. That would be pretty cool. As we're going to go ahead and hit the reinforcers of the army, bring out the command knight. That's a bulky bit of beefy damage. Is this even game? I can't count. As you're going to take 3,600. Michael Gray, quick on the math. And then you'll gain 1,000. And you're just going to go ahead and scoop it up right there. Getting pulverized by a command knight. Never feels great. Okay. That is a, <laughs> that is a, that is a freaking ouchie baby. Very ouch. Surely decree go control is just going to slaughter everything with turbo. So nerfed it could, but also you bring out decree go control and get blasted by this rescue cat baseball kid deck, you know, piercing guy, the deck, Ashura, Ashura, Big bang shot the deck. You just lose immediately. You just lose. If you if you flip a go and I have a sure priest with big bang shot in my deck, you will lose immediately. If you got decree up, especially like, what are you going to do? You can't stop me. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. A humble player is passing by to wish you a gleeful good Friday and happy Easter for the three of you. All the best. Yo, 
Happy Easter to you as well. And happy Easter to everyone who celebrates Easter around the goat world and the waking world and the real world. You know, this is a this is a cool, cool thing to to happen out here on this beautiful weekend as Scrub comes down with the early pot of green, see it, play it and pimp off. We need some reportings from around the goat space, though. If you guys see some more spice or some other deck that we need to see, make sure you put that out into this goat format dueling chat and we can find our way over there and check it out eventually. I want to kind of see as many duels as I can, but, you know, sometimes it's going to be like that. Can actually play night with no spy around. This is the stuff you got to think about. I maybe I could have I could have announced this a little bit earlier to give duels a little bit more time to like cook and test. I always do it kind of late. You know, I, did, I actually announced it a little bit earlier than I typically do. But it's a lot of things that you that you have to kind of consider um, when you have these limited things of what the meta is without these limitations and what it could be if you add the like you said the the second third order of face with no GK spy locking you out. A lot of aggro decks that are um, that are weakened become significantly better. A lot of the yeah, Grumple V Lord kind of goes crazy. V Lord kind of goes crazy. Dark Balter goes nuts now. Um, King Dragoon is even stronger. Decree looks phenomenal without Giant Renee. Genzo looks really freaking good. Look at this. Look at this asshole. What are you going to, you got 35 trap cards in your deck. What are you going to do when Jinzo is on your ass? You're going to lose. So these are the things that you got to really be concerned about as, uh, as when you're, when you're playing these things. So maybe he's got an answer for it. Maybe he's got a freaking double snare. Double snare could be a card that's played. <laughs> that Jinzo is getting snatched so fast. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Hey, hey, there's no snatch deal. Either is this 31st card right here, or is one of these four cards, or maybe even one of these two set cards on the field. He's going to the other side. You're right, Nate Dog. I forgot. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. He's going. Maybe he's got the MST. Maybe end user's got the MST. He's kind of holding on to it. Yo, four. Jay Dizzle, my goat. How does he hold? Wait, hold. How goes it? I hope you're well. I am very well. I'm actually in uh in a really, really good spot. Mentally, physically, spiritually, financially. So and he's got the giant. Ooh, never mind. That's the answer. As you can go grab up the Ryu Coaster if needed, but it looks like we're just going to go for a secondary pyramid turtle. <laughs> Dang. So you tribute this thing for the Ryu Koki, then you play snatch deal and then you just beat the hell out of him with his own Jinzo. Or do you just tr snatch and then tribute that for the Ryu Koki and beat the hell out of him with the Ryu Koki in the, <laughs> or in the, in the damn, in the pyramid turtle. Who knows? Jinzo's effects, Jinzo's actual effect reads, negate all traps. Negate all trap effects. Add snatch deal to your opponent's hand. So he's playing, he's playing it smart. He's 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 electing not to uh use the snatch deal on the Jinzo. He's kind of hold out. Just kind of hold out on it. No big deal. I think that's wise. Huh? That's a wise play. As we do have that reinforcement of the army, that is probably one of the oversights that I made. Like maybe we could have hit reinforcements down to one. I think that would have been a little bit, a little bit fair to kind of hit the warrior strategy. But I know that reinforcements also supports a lot of jank and a lot of rogue too. Like this, you know, reinforcements for a command knight, reinforcements for a dream clown, reinforcements for a white ninja, reinforcement for arm ninja or something, and do some ninja jujitsu magic or whatever. Ninja Rota for Strike Ninja. I don't want to hit all that stuff by the by by doing that. So that's why I elected to leave it in. But maybe maybe hitting it down to one might have been might have been a play. Might have been a play as we have Rota for the Command Knight. Last Will. Okay, so we're trying to get lateral here with a little bit of poppage, and it's going to be Exile Force. Exile pop the hmm. Hmm. Dang. And we're going to go ahead and hit the face up pyramid turtle. So even if it was the Ryu Koki, he still would have been popped. <laughs> it would have been popped as we have the UFO turtle now. It's brought out from the last wheel. Seems a little lackluster. Not going to lie. Seems a little, seems a little regular pyramid turtle out here. None to, none to write home about. What a, what a fucking limit removal. Oh my God. Then what are we talking about? Oh, that could be. That's not game, but it's it's damn close if you can get that all in there directly. As we're going to go ahead and send in 
24 into the set, it is going to be Giant Rat. Okay. <laughs> Triple limiter. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and now we got a crash situation here. So now you have the option to grab up another uh, rat. We're going to we're going to rock the dog, huh? When the last time you see somebody walk the dog with a UFO turtle? Never. OK, he's not even going to do it. He's going to show a little bit of tactical restraint, elect not to walk the dog into the giant rat UFO turtle challenge. <clears throat> and now we're finally going to attribute this thing for that Ryu Koki that we knew was just bricked. huh? So he didn't. So he didn't grab it. You know that bad boy was bricked up. And we're going to go ahead and bump coconuts right away. And now all your trap cards are back. Wave motion is back. And you're going to go ahead and pass right here. So cool. So cool, cool, cool. In my world. <laughs> All right, cool. We'll bring out a little base boost to Command Knight, and we're going to try to just reach in there with that 16. It was just a cool card, man. I wish Command Knight was like light or dark or earth. I think it would be played a little bit more. That fire really, 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 really neutered this card. Speed run to dog town thrust. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Not like that. Come on. Not not dog town speed run. We're not doing that. Come on. Come on, baby. Not turbo dog town. <laughs> We're not thrust, baby. Come on. You're killing me. We're not. We can't be out here turbo running dog town out here in this goat world, baby. I'm not going to stand for it. You were cooking. You were cooking the other day. I saw you. I didn't. I wasn't. I was there in spirit. OK, I wasn't there in, in in my physical form, but I was there in spirit and I saw you out there getting it in. All right. So you can't be out here. Speed. We're not turbo blast in Dogtown. All right. We're not doing that. We're going to go there. We've got to go there. We're going to go there reluctantly with a positive mental attitude. And then we're going to make it out of there. We're not. <laughs> we're not speed running Dogtown. Come on. Come on. Dang. Oh, man, I almost ended the stream, y'all. My bad. I'm tripping. I am bugging over here. I am absolutely losing my losing my bits and wits. Man. Discord always rolls me up, dude. Discord jumps on me and they don't get off. There we go. All right, right up in there. Boom. Yeah. There it is. All right, found it. And there is a baseball kid. Oh man, I looked away for a second. I looked away for a second. We got ultimate baseball kid just wailing on. Oh, you did have the skill drain. So very neat. You and never mind. <laughs> you thought got him. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not laughing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Scrub. I'm sorry. I'm not laughing. I'm, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at the fact that baseball kid just got the dub right there. Very cool. Very cool. Cool. Cool way to start this thing off with a little bit of spice. As end user is going to go ahead and baseball kid bang, 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 batter up. He's going to just go ahead and batter up and just get it cracking. All right. So let's see if we can find another. Let's see if we can find another. Uh... All right. Let's see, if we can... <laughs> let's see if we can find another one. All right. So we saw that one go down. We got Thrust, who just turbo dog town, apparently. We have Suski and Moomin Rider still in round number one. We have Ghost and Alex the Man. I'm gonna show that. I'm gonna see what Ghost is cooking up. And I'm gonna see what Alex the Man is cooking up. Let's see what Ghost Rider is cooking up. Cause I wanna see what Ghost is doing. And Alex the Man says, I'm going to win this tournament. Like I've already won. I've already won. Looks like we have he seems a little the mo the little bit more meta than what we just saw, but still pretty cool as Ghost uh looks like you're playing like a warrior, a warrior deck, which is probably another fantastic call for 
a limited event like this. The Warrior strategy is already good, and they're not losing that much. So it's gonna it's gonna be a, a solid choice. So they're just getting it in. As uh, it looks like Ghost Rider is up a game, as Styles and Strict is gonna fall to the GY. Chaos Control honestly wouldn't be that bad either. With even with one just one Sork, one Sork Chaos Control. I don't think it'll be that bad. Thunder Dragon still can get value. You still can meta for those level five fusions that we talked about earlier. And those are in good positions right now with Spy being restricted. I think that's not a bad call. Thunder Dragon, one Sork, meta, Faith, some beaters, maybe even Decree in there too, and Vibrate, dude. You can, you can beat people with that. Or something. I don't know. I don't know. Mikaikus and be, just attacking guys. Or, or or something. Maybe you can put like a Rota package in there too. It could have been cool. It could have been cool. But we'll see. Maybe that's what Alex is on right now. It kind of looks like that. You got triple solemn uh, goats meta. Maybe Or maybe the goat meta is coming from the side perhaps. As DD Warrior Lady is just providing some tremendous pressure. Double Koki. Yeah, it happens bro. Double Koki, double drain is basically unplayable. Is basically unplayable. Pyramid Turtle, maybe he could have been like, get it from deck or hand. I think that would have been a nice little upgrade to that to that bad boy, because you know you're drawing that Koki. You know he's coming to your go from that dueling grip. Prepare for that. But two, though, you expect one. You don't really uh, you don't really foresee and plan for the duplicate, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Sorry you had to re feel the wrath of Baseball Kid, but he wasn't losing. Baseball Kid wasn't losing. He was coming out. He was coming for Skulls, dude. Yours specifically. It just had to be somebody. It had, to, it had to be someone. I mean, it's, it's just you this time. It's going to be, it would have been someone else. So that's the way the world works. Baseball kid was taking names. As Zinger is super robust and resilient. Can you change something, Alex? Can you put one, one of those cards into play? And you can. It's going to be both of those cards, actually, you'll be able to put into the fray. And we're going to go ahead and use that Regeki break. We're going to pop the DD Warrior Lady. And then we're going to use the skate bills. That wasn't just set that turn. I can only assume that it wasn't because Ghost knows how to play and Alex does as well. So now we got four tokens on the field. Ghost has more cards, but those tokens can be a plusing situation. If, uh, if it all, if it all goes, if it all goes correctly and Zing is, yeah, Zing should still be on the field. He did not target Zing in any way. But it is useless. Doesn't really count. Can't really do much. Clean. 9,500 subs. Oh, we do, huh? We're close. We're getting, we're getting close to that 10,000 mark. Maybe at some point. I, I would hope this year we can make it to 10,000. Go for Matt Doolin subscribers. I think 10,000 just seems a little like, oh, man, you're, you're on your way. 10,000. Oh, I got 10,000, 10,000 subscribers. That seems like, like a more, like if we never get an, another subscriber beyond 10,000, I think that's like, okay, we're legit. We're too legit now. Let's, you know, obviously want to keep it going onward and upward. Maybe 10,000 hymns will start knocking. How loud is this? I'm going to play it. I'm going to play a sound. You guys tell me, how, just brace yourself. I'm about to play a loud noise. Perhaps I'm going I'm to play. I don't know how, how loud this is. Was that super loud? How about this? Is that really ridiculously loud or is that kind of kind of quiet? I can't I can't tell. If it's super loud, let me know. Or if you can't hear it at all, that's that's also kind of loud. Okay, okay, okay. I'll stay. I'll I don't know how to uh it's like seven out of ten. Okay, we need to figure out how to how to lower it. I don't know how to lower it. I really don't. I don't know how to lower it because I found this other soundboard with the voices thing, with the voice box thing, and it has like a bunch of sounds on it. But I don't want to be blasting y'all. I don't want to be blasting people with surprise gunshots, and that thing will blow the whole speaker speaker out. As we're going to go and get the faith back. Faith is I, forget, I didn't see what faith grabs over here messing around. I think it was that charity. We're going to kick out the Jargri and the Blade Knight, and then we got the Pro Set Heavy Storm. Ooh. And we got another Regeki break. We're just going to pop that Magician of Faith. It's got to feel so good knowing that BLS is just not going to drop and just tear your freaking ass up, dude. That's 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 got to be a good feeling. 
that's got it. Like right now, I'll be like, okay, here we come. Try a BLS or BLS and a guy, and I'm my ass is in the freaking grass, dude. And he rings too, and I'm out of here. That's to me, I think that's a good feeling to know with 100% certainty that BLS is not about to drop and destroy your whole cheeks, dude. Feels great. That's a that's a vibe, dude. That's why I wanted to do this just to give people a break. As Ghost Rider, I was like, you know what? I'm out of here. I can't drop BLS and destroy my opposition. I'm just going to cut myself from this tournament. Never mind. Thought about it. Elected to come <laughs> to come back. Nova says pre BLS anxiety is it's such a it's such a bad feeling, dude. Oh, just sitting there, and you you know it's coming. You know it's coming. They might do something like. I don't know, set blade night or something. You attack it and you're like, oh, and they start checking the graveyard and you start looking at your life points. They're checking your graveyard. And you're like, I know this guy's coming, dude. I know he's coming. And he drops on me, dude. My cheeks have just never been the same. Just never been the same. Graham Arnold says, I play Pac-Man. Knock is my worst enemy. You got a lot of bad enemies out there. That Pac-Man strategy just does not abide like it used to. I think Pac-Man would have been cool for this, maybe. I think Pac-Man could have made some noise right here in this in this type of environment. But Knock still does exist. Maybe you can play the uh, the trap card, Spell Shield Type Eight. Spell Shield Type Eight might be might be to play. Magic Jammer, Magic Drain, something like that. Or just don't set them. I was talking to the duelist uh, Silver who is a Pac-Man aficionado. He plays Pac-Man all the time and he's pretty good at it. You know, he actually can beat people with Pac-Man um, a lot of the time. He's not the worst. He's not the, he's, he's a good, a good Pac-Man player. And his theory is just don't set him, leave him face up. You just summon him. They try to attack. You play your trap next turn. You down and back up, activate the effect and do it that way. So, and, it's, and it works a lot for him when he does that. <laughs> Grumple says, okay, I gave a quick ass whooping and now I'm back. Oh my goodness. You can't just come out here and whoop someone's ass and then come back, dude. That's nutty. That's nutty. As you're going to use the Sukiyomi to get a little plus here, goes is thinking about it. This might be a solemn type, solemn type beat. Dude, this might, this might, but Ghost is going to let it, oh, okay, that was cool as hell, I didn't know you can do that, did you see that, did you see that, he put Tsukiyomi in the, uh, in the damn field zone and made Tsukiyomi, the... that was cool, that was cool, I like that, never forget when Silver played Marcus Hayden in War League with Pac-Man and went the distance, I will never forget that, you, the War, dude, Go From at War League has had some incredible matches, and a lot of time, a lot of times you'll kind of forget, you know, the turbo mirrors and the warrior mirrors and this and that. But some of those matches, like when you're playing that that real heat in War League, because let's let's face it, the War League really doesn't, it's not a suitable environment for the heat. It's a very meta-oriented division, dude. You gotta play the best decks because you don't want to let your team down, and there's really not a lot of room to to do that. But when someone brings that heat and they can beat someone on that meta in a really, really tight situation. It in the in the VCs rocking. There is no better, there is no better goat format. I think it is so captivating, man. Splevin, oh my goodness, this run, this playoff run, Splevin's been on has been like historic. Okay, Splevin's been going nuts, dude. He's beaten some of the best players in the whole thing, in the whole game. He's beaten them in a row in like very tight, precise fashion. Very cool stuff to see. Love to see it. As we got Zambira Slam, MST Chain, MST on MST. That's the way it should always be. Boom. We got Ghost Rider now, who is now kind of behind in cards. As Zambira is looking foolish again. Life points are open and available. Can't seal the deal. Can't figure it out. Can't attack the wreck. If this guy had been freaking Skill Dark Magician. Berserking a gorilla. Like, why do you even need skilled? Why do you need Zumbira? You have no chaos guys. What is Zumbira doing for you that Berserk Gorilla can't do for you? There's no spy. There is no, like, why is this guy even here? Get him out of here. This guy is a rollover. We don't, there's no spy. There's no BLS. You got one Sork. You don't need this guy. I guess you can roll it for this guy. Okay, never mind. I'll, I'll eat that. I'll eat that. 
Uh, he can't rota. He's not. He's, he's got rota. Maybe he's not playing rota. I would say a berserk gorilla. Now that 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 Zambira should be a berserking gorilla. He should be going ape shit on your hitbox right now. As we're gonna go ahead and Sukiyomi, we're gonna use that to reset this thing, <laughs> and then we're gonna hit him with the wide spread. Sukiyomi is now out of the fray. Giant Orc has a dedicated Union monster. That guy must be nutty. Oh yeah, the Goblin Coach, the Goblin, the head Goblin Coach. The goblin, the goblin coach. That's a good one. Has anyone ever tried that? I don't think so. I don't think I don't think anybody can try that. He's a one star, right? Yo, Grumple, we're cooking. Let's make it happen, Grumble. I think the goat world needs to see goblin union control, dude. I think people need to see that. I think he's a one star. If he's a one, if he's a one star, we need to we need to cook, dude. If he's anything beyond one star, let's throw the whole idea away right now. And then uh, let me look it up. 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 Uh, Goblin Coach. What's this shit called? Uh, card. Goblin Coach. Oh, he's a four star. Never mind. This guy is completely unplayable. What? I thought it was like a one star. Why is this guy a four star? Coach Goblin. This guy is a four star. While this card is face up on your side of the field, you can return one normal monster card in your hand to the bottom of your deck during your end phase to draw one card from your deck. You can only use this effect once per turn. Bro, like what are we even talking about, Coach Goblin? Why is he four stars? Good out of here, dude. As we're going to go ahead and reveal Nobleman Across Out, hit the Sinister Serpente. And if this Zambira could just do some pressure, dude, if he can. I'm thinking about Second Goblin. Second Goblin. Which one is that? Second Goblin. Second. Let me see which one. Yeah, this is the guy. This is the guy. This is the guy. This is the guy. Not Goblin Coach. I'm thinking this guy. You're right, Nova. You're right, Nova. Once returned to your main phase, you control this monster on the field. You can equip it to one giant orc as an equip spell card or unequip it to a union. Unequip the union equip special summon this card and face up attack position. Blah, 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 blah. Once you're going to face on the field, you can uh, change the equip monster's battle position once per turn. There we go. Yeah. And so it's a one star. Do we can make this happen, dude? We can make this happen. I think a, a giant orc, a giant orc of the deck, dude. Dot com. And now you got this blade knight about to run over the Zumbire. You're going to feel like a complete asshole, dude. You got to stop this. Is there a trap card? And you can't even stop it, dude. Berserk Gorilla's looking so good. Berserk Gorilla's... If, if that Zumbire is Berserk Gorilla, you're winning. You're winning. I think you're winning. You won already. That, that just felt so slimy to me. That just felt so slimy to me. No ring to get out of this thing. You don't have to do it the, the long way. And I think you can do it as Snatch Steel is going to come on after the Blade Knight right now. And you're going to slide it on over. And now, can you, is it possible to get a pump off? Can you pump, can you pump up the jams? Can you increase the battle attack of this Blade Knight to his full value and try to go for the Gusto? Ghost Rider is a notorious trap card menace. So trying to get that thing to go off is probably looking likely, unlikely. And you're just going to try to reach on in there for 16. And it will just go ahead and hit the Sakuretsu armor as you go ahead and just pass it on over four cards in hand. Can't do anything. Brian Kirkpatrick says, are there any skill dark enjoyer? I'm a big, I'm a big skill dark believer. Okay. I believe in, I've been skill dark pilled. Um, listening to the, listen to the LRG nation talk about skill dark magician. And, you know, I've, I've tried it a few times myself and, I enjoy it. I think Skill Dark's good. I think Skill Dark's good, a good, a good guy. He's a good card. Just a solid ass 1900 Tsukiyomi proof. Just trusty, just a trusty steed, dude. Taking out Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. Just sending damage. Suk proof body. He's a warm blanket. Just like Berserk Gorilla. Sometimes. As the tribal one is going to be out. Let's see if we're going to get any type of interaction with this tribe. You're on that Archfiend Soldier wave. That's a vibe too. Archfiend Soldier is, is a vibe. Mad Dog of Darkness. 
I don't know about Mad Dog because he's the same type as the tokens. But I can rock with a I can rock with Archfiend Soldier just because he looks cool as hell and he's a he's a vanilla. Playing vanillas is cool whenever you can. If you can manage to work a vanilla into your uh into your deck from time to time. But skill dark from time to time, like if you get say if you get uh Ojama locked or something, that effect you can fail to find. Go search for a dark magician that you may or may not play. Send it to